All right, guys. So um, I wanted to kind of go over the new update that just came out from Tesla for my Model X. And I'm um, not sure if you guys heard about it, but uh, it actually allows you to limit the speed the speed of your actual vehicle. So I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, what's new in the update um, down below here, and then we'll go over it. All right, so this is uh, the latest update just came out. I'll give you the version number here in a second. But what this allows you to do is uh, speed limit mode. So it allows you to actually uh, take your app and limit the, the speed or how fast the actual speed of the car can go. I'll let you kind of look that over. And uh, it says in memory of Barrett Riley. I'm not sure who that is. I think I will look that up just to be sure. I'm not sure who that is. Um, and then also it is, it is a small change here, the autopilot. It just says apply light force to steering wheel instead of hold steering wheel now. So uh, I did see that. It doesn't, it doesn't do, it's not any different. Uh, when you grab the steering wheel, it's the same. It, you just give a little bit of a light force, I guess, but that's the change there. So this is actually the big change and we'll take a look at that. Okay, so we're gonna go into uh, controls and then safety and security under settings. And then you can turn it off or on, and you can set the speed. We're gonna test that when we're driving. I'm actually gonna set this with my app and uh, see if it, if it actually sets it inside of here, it should. So let's do that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open up the app. We're gonna go to Tesla, click on it. And then uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, wait for it to load up, of course. Select the right car, so swipe to the left and get to Megatron. And then inside of here, if you click on controls, and then you look down below, it says speed limit mode. So down here, we can actually turn it on and ask for a pin, so we can throw a pin in there, whatever random pin. And then once it's on, you can't really change this, the miles per hour on it. You can't change the speed limit. So let's go ahead and toggle that back off again. And then it's gonna ask you for a pin when we do that again. And then now we can go ahead and change the miles per hour. We're gonna change it down to 60 miles per hour. And then go ahead and toggle it back on again and put a pin in. And now it's active. So once it's active, we can actually go check the car itself and see if it actually does translate back to the car. Okay, so let's go inside of here. There it is, so it's on 60 miles an hour right there. So we'll test that out by driving and see if that actually does work. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna test out the speed limit and see if it'll if it'll actually top off at 60 since that's where I set it. And I did some research, I didn't wanna misspeak, but uh, that Barrett Riley was the young 18 year old um, kid that um, got in a car accident with a couple of his friends and died in the Tesla that caught on fire after the accident. So um, that's what prompted that uh, speed limit software change. I think it's a great change, uh, especially um, for us parents that want to limit the speed, how fast they go. But uh, no matter what we limit it to, I'm sure they're going to go at rad that limit. But it's, it's definitely a great idea. So um, we're going to go ahead and test it out and then we'll uh, finish up the video. Okay, so I basically set my speed limit to 60. And that's it. What if you press down on the gas pedal? It, I, got a, I got a floor and I can't go any faster than that. I'm trying to get over and I'll slow down a little bit. People will probably get pissed off at me. But you'll be able to hear like a little, uh, a, like a tone when I get to a point. Ready? Here we go. So when you get th within three miles of your speed limit, you'll not only get a tone there, but it'll also sends a message to your app that it says, hey, you're within three miles of miles per hour of your max speed limit. So there we have it. All right, guys. So that's the end of our video for the speed limits update that we just got. And uh, yeah, that was kind of interesting. As we were driving, it limited me to 60 miles an hour. That's crazy.
and we're at update uh, 2018.24.1. So that's the one that limits the software. All right, guys, until next time, peace.